Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com the second week of June 2021. Criminal defense attorney F. Lee Bailey died June 3, 2021, in Atlanta at the age of 87. He worked with high-profile defendants like O.J. Simpson and Patty Hearst. One mourner at Legacy.com remembered working with him. I had the privilege of being Mr. Bailey's assistant on the television program Lie Detector in 1983. During this time, I came to know Mr. Bailey as a man of not only great intellect, but one of integrity and humanity. I shall always be grateful for the opportunity to have known him, and more importantly, to consider him a friend. Baseball player Mike Marshall died June 1, 2021, in Zephyr Hills, Florida, at the age of 78. He was the first relief pitcher ever to win the Cy Young Award. He won in 1974 when he was pitching for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Marshall is being remembered for the pitching technique he developed after getting his Ph.D. in physiology while he was playing in the major leagues. Activist Linda Thurston died May 23, 2021, at her home in Brooklyn, New York. She died of natural causes at the age of 62. The director of Amnesty International's program to abolish the death penalty, she worked toward a more peaceful world. One mourner remembered this anti-war crusader on Legacy.com. She made the world a safer and better place. Actor Clarence Williams III died June 4, 2021, in Los Angeles. He died of colon cancer at the age of 81. He is best known for starring as Link in the hip 60s and 70s TV show The Mod Squad. Williams is also being remembered for roles in movies like Purple Rain, Tales from the Hood, and Half Baked. One mourner on Legacy.com said, Thank you for being a role model for so many black teens in the 70s with that kingly afro and good looks, making us black and proud. Children's book publisher Richard Robinson died June 5, 2021 in Chilmark, Massachusetts at the age of 84. He was the longtime CEO of Scholastic, the publishing company that brought us beloved book series like Harry Potter and The Hunger Games. One mourner on Legacy.com remembered their love for Scholastic's book fairs. As an avid bookworm from seven years of age, the Scholastic book fairs at school were the things this former child looked forward to the most. What a treasure to be able to easily afford a book of your own in those days. My thanks to the Robinsons for beginning their publishing company, which made so many children happy and set us on the road to lifelong learning. World War II veteran David Dushman died June 4, 2021, in Munich at the age of 98. He was a Soviet veteran who was one of the last living people who liberated the Auschwitz concentration camp. He is being remembered for his bravery as he drove a tank through the electric fence to allow ground troops inside to free the prisoners. Singer and actress Carla Burns died June 4, 2021, 
at a hospital in Wichita, Kansas at the age of 66. She was known for musical theater performances in shows including Showboat and Hi-Hat Hattie. She is being remembered as the first black person to win England's prestigious Olivier Award for her performance in Showboat. NFL coach Jim Fossil died June 7, 2021 in Las Vegas. He died of a heart attack at the age of 71. He was the head coach for the New York Giants from 1997 to 2003, and he led them to a Super Bowl appearance in the 2000 season. Fossil is being remembered for his famous guarantee that the Giants would make it to the 2000 playoffs, and he was right. Charity founder Jessica Morris died June 8, 2021, at her home in Brooklyn, New York. She died of glioblastoma at the age of 57. After she was diagnosed with glioblastoma, she organized the nonprofit group Our Brain Bank, providing support and resources for other people fighting the aggressive brain cancer. Morris is being remembered as an inspiration who survived glioblastoma longer than the odds said she would, and helped others fight the disease too. Actor Ernie Lively died June 3, 2021 in Los Angeles. He died of cardiac complications at the age of 74. He was actress Blake Lively's father, as well as a successful character actor with roles in movies like Turner and Hooch and Air America. He is being remembered for starring alongside his daughter in the movie The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Therapeutic sports pioneer Hal O'Leary died June 3, 2021, at Denver Hospice at the age of 94. One day in 1970, he volunteered to teach a group of kids with amputations how to ski. The lesson inspired him to found the National Sports Center for the Disabled. He is being remembered as a hero who brought joy to thousands of people by helping them gain access to the thrill of skiing. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of Worcester Police Officer Emanuel Manny Familia and Braintree Police Canine Kit, who each died in the line of duty. Flags in New Jersey have been lowered to honor the memory of a courageous and loyal American Marine. Private First Class Dalton Beals. Flags in Alabama have been lowered to honor the memory of former Governor John M. Patterson. And flags in Connecticut, Illinois, New York, and Pennsylvania have been lowered this week to honor the memories of those who have lost their lives to COVID-19. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.